Oh no, my tube's discolored. What will I do? Well, you could make yourself a degauss wand. And that's today's latest adventure in CRT gaming. We're going to make a degauss wand. And I'm going to cut the bullshit and just show you step by step how to make a wand. And then after that, we're going to do discussion about all things degauss, CRTs, discolorations. So let's get into it. Step one is diagnosing the problem. So, I mean, you'll notice that gaming or watching TV, uh, you can pull up like a grid. Let's see, this is my Tate screen. That's why it's vertical like that. But, um, okay, where's a grid? Here's a grid right here. So you can see over here it's discolored. And I actually like to use a grid to diagnose this for some reason, I don't know. But uh, I noticed most people, when they do this in the arcade community, which is a great spot, by the way, for videos on degauss wands and anything related to CRT repairs, they like to pull up a white screen or colored screens. Like you can see that red is off. That green, that's supposed to be green. And there's like all kinds, like it almost looks blue. There's the blue with the pink on the side. So, okay, we got a problem, right? So you can turn your TV on and off. That'll degauss it. Turn it off, turn it on. When you hear that bwong, that signature bwong that goes with CRTs, that's actually the degauss coil kicking in. And you'll hear it when I plug in my degauss wand later in the video, when I'm showing you how to make it, you can hear the current going through here. It's pretty cool. So that didn't work, right? I just initiated the degauss coil built in around the tube of the TV, didn't get rid of it. Some TVs have a button you can push. Um, if the degauss coil is broken on your CRT or the circuit, which can happen, you can face another CRT right in front of this one and then power the TV that's facing it on and off. And then that wire is going to degauss, you know, its TV and this one as well, which is kind of what we're doing with this. This is actually a coil I got out of another CRT and we're just plugging it into the wall here instead of, you know, turning on a TV, we're plugging this fucker into the wall. So yeah, so you can, you know, try doing the built-in degauss that's built into the CRT. You can also go get yourself some magnets, Home Depot. I like these square ones because you can rotate them on the glass of the tube and they'll have a different effect or you can spin them and you just glue these down to the tube. If you glue it down over here, it's going to affect that corner. Let's see, I might just affect it. Yeah, just see me coming in and out like this. This is affecting it. So sometimes you can get a couple of these and just glue these down to the tube. Uh, you can make convergence strips, which is, you know, you get some uh, magnet tape and like, I don't know, get a piece of plastic, a milk carton and double, you know, tape it down to that and then shove these under the yoke. But yeah, we're making, we're making a wand. So let's get to it. These are the three things you're going to need. You're going to need just some random power cord that you can put into the wall. Of course, you're going to need your coil from a CRT, a degauss coil. And then I'm going to use this switch, just some kind of on off switch. So you need to get your degauss coil out of the CRT guys. In order to get this one out, I did have to discharge the tube and this, uh, this degauss coil is wrapped around the tube. It's all tangled up in there and it'll be plugged in to the motherboard to get power and you're just going to cut that off. Find yourself any random power cord. It doesn't matter what's on the end here. This one looks like it went to a PS2 or a printer or something. But yeah, you're going to cut this end off. And uh, I mean at this point, we could just take this power cord, take these two wires here and just wire them in. I don't think it matters like what direction. This is just all copper wire. And uh, we could just run this into our degauss coil. And then this, you could just plug this in, like connect these, plug that into the wall, grab this in with your hand and run it in front of a CRT, just all tangled up and whack like this. And it will degauss the CRT. But we're gonna get a little fancier guys, cause, cause I'm fancy. And this is the crux of the fancy biscuit right here really, is we're gonna put a switch in, a toggle switch. This one just has two blades on it. So, you know, it's digital. 
it's off and then on. And the idea behind this is uh, we're running 110 into this coil, this copper wire, and it's it's really meant to like handle like 12 volts and we're running 110 volts or 120 volts or whatever, a lot of volts. And this will heat up. And if it gets really hot, I can just hit the switch and turn it off. You know, I don't want to burn the house down. My son thinks I'm going to burn the house down. <laughs> I don't think so, but we're going to find out. But yeah, so the switch, right? You're like, oh, how do I wire this? So this just breaks the circuit. There's just some contacts in here and this breaks it. So like I was saying, you could just run these two wires together and it would work. So we're going to run one of the wires just straight together and then the other wire, we're going to run one, we're going to like screw one wire onto this, this port here, onto this blade, there's two, you know, two blades on this and then the other wire is going to hook up to this blade and it just disconnects them. It'll disconnect or connect them. And like, I don't think it matters, like, you know, whether it's the white or the black or whatever, you can just hook these wires up like either way. All right, so I wired my switch together and uh, I took the wire from the degauss, de excuse me, degauss coil and one from the power line and just ran them together. And this is what I had lying around. I mean, don't overthink it. And then, you know, another line I just screwed down over here from the degauss and then another line to this so that this will this will split them. I didn't really like how this held them down like this this connection here feels pretty flimsy like, like especially this with this thick wire it feels like it's going to come off but that's where we're at. So the wand is functional at this point although it doesn't look much like a wand it's just like a wad but uh, I was able to get all the wires in here and it's plugged in and ready to go and I've never done this before so I wanted to test it and check this out you can actually see the thing buck when you turn it on with all the, the awesome force of the electricity <laughs> that makes me a little bit nervous like there's a shitload of electricity going through this you can actually feel like a thrill it feels like what a a dialysis fistula feels like a functional one when you hold it like you can feel the current going through it's kind of cool but it's also kind of scary i don't know if you can hear it let me like let me put the microphone over there and see if you can hear it yeah so <laughs> let's uh okay so we, we don't want to use it like this though we want to like make it nice and pretty and then also if we take the wire here, the coil, and wrap it into like a, a ring, it's gonna be more effective. But I got no doubts it's gonna work at this point. Um, but yeah, we're gonna wrap it up and then try to secure the switch down. Like I said, the switch just didn't feel very secure. Uh, the wire's in there. So I wanna, I wanna secure all this down. This wad's about to be promoted to Wong, guys. I got some tape down there, all lined up. And I'm just, just, wrap it a little bit and then tape it down and then wrap it a little bit more and we're just going to keep wrapping it till it's a tight circle about the size of my hand i got the wad wrapped up into a wand i'm gonna keep wrapping it i'm probably going to blow a whole load of electric tape on it and just completely wrap it with this but i left the blue wire out because it's thinner and i at first i was wrapping it inside here and it looked neater and cleaner, but I don't, this thing gets hot guys. When I was holding it and testing it, it got really hot. And I don't want this electrical wire to melt. So I left it out. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is taping the switch down to it just to secure this line. Cause like I said, it's a little bit loose in there and that'll make it more secure, but I'm gonna leave the blue wire out. Okay, we've done it. We made the wand. I completely wrapped it in electric tape. It looks kind of cool, it looks kind of snaky. And now that it's completely wrapped in electric tape, it's not sticky anymore. Like the, uh, the coil was sticky. And I've secured the switch down. I just wrapped it here. So uh, these wires are more secure with the switch in and the blue wires are out so they won't get burned when this heats up. And also if these do come loose, It'll be a lot easier to access them and reattach them inside this switch now that they're not wrapped into the whole coil. 
that's about it. Let's go try it out. Okay, here we go. So I've been experimenting with this. The best way I've found to do it is to start really close and then to go in a circle and try to get all the discoloration off and then back it away as far as you can until it's not affecting it anymore and then turn it off. So we're gonna give it a try right now. <laughs> okay, so here's an example of it working. You can see the discoloration here and here. Boom. So we're done. The TV's degaussed. There's a little bit of discoloration on it still. Uh, in the video, it's not really picking it up, but it's a little bit orange over here and not quite red but it's much improved. I think there's something wrong with this TV. I might need to get a new one. Maybe this TV got dropped, I don't know. But I'll power it off and on, and every time, like between power-ups, it'll, it'll be discolored a little bit more or less, which isn't normal, that's not good. But uh, yeah, we made a degauss wand. One thing to note is that wand does get really hot, and I'd have to stop and set it down, and I even put a fan on it to cool it off, because. Like I said, I was struggling to get this one degaussed. This one over here, I could mess up and then fix it immediately. It was super easy, but there's something wrong with this TV. You know, maybe it needs some magnets glued down in there. But yeah, I mean, you can buy your own degauss wand, but it was fun for me to make this. There was an HD CRT that I found on the curb, and you know, it was a big one. It seems like all those HD CRTs are big. So I, I knew it would have a big coil in it, and I hate HD CRTs, so I was happy to get that one off the streets and cannibalize it for its parts. But yeah, that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Go out there and beat some hard games for me.